My name is Tamara Keith and I'm a paediatrician in London and I'm here to talk to you about newborn care, keeping babies warm. The learning objectives of this talk include what is the normal body temperature, how do babies lose heat, why is heat loss important and strategies to reduce heat loss in the delivery room, postnatal ward and once the baby is discharged home from hospital. I'm hoping that this talk will help both medical students, nursing students and midwifery students to understand this important topic. What is normal body temperature? The normal body temperature is 36.5 to 37.5 degrees. Mild hypothermia would be categorised as 36 to 36.4 and puts the baby under what we call cold stress. Moderate hypothermia would be 32 to 35.9 and severe hypothermia, we'd be very concerned, is less than 32 degrees. Why do babies get cold so easily? They have a large body surface area in relation to weight. They have decreased insulation with little subcutaneous fat and decreased heat production with less brown fat, so there's less non-shivering thermogenesis. Newborn babies cannot sweat or shiver like adults and babies cannot regulate their temperature like adults, so get cold very easily. Cold babies become lethargic, have a poor suck, weak cry, get low sugar, metabolic acidosis and respiratory distress. At deliveries, most babies get cold because of lack of knowledge rather than lack of equipment. And remember, babies are wet when they are born, so the most important thing you can do is to dry and wrap the baby. The mechanisms of heat loss in the baby include the convection current, where drafts in the room and cold currents around the baby make the baby cold. The baby is born wet, and so evaporation of the amniotic fluid from outside the baby will produce heat loss. Conduction of heat to direct contact with cold surfaces is bad for the baby and result in heat loss. And radiation to cold objects around the baby all produce heat loss in the baby and lead to hypothermia. Causes of hypothermia in the delivery room include simply a cold room if the room is not warm enough and it is advised that the room is 25 degrees at least and 26 and above for a premature delivery. If there is a cold draught this is going to lead to increased convection currents and evaporation of fluid from the baby. If the baby is left uncovered and not dressed quickly, if the baby is sick and unwell or not feeding well, will lead to hypothermia. And if the baby is left wet and uncovered during the resuscitation, sometimes you'll see medical staff be so concentrated on the resuscitation that they forget to dry and wrap the baby, which regardless of the condition of the baby, should be done before resuscitation. If the baby is put on a cold surface or near a cold window, or if the baby is not dried effectively, can all lead to hypothermia. Why is heat loss important? Hypothermia is bad for babies. Babies cannot regulate body temperature like adults and hypothermia increases morbidity and mortality. It increases oxygen consumption and hypoxia and leads to metabolic acidosis. It can increase hypoglycemia and apneas which is temporary cessation of breathing it leads to depletion of surfactant, increasing the likelihood of respiratory distress. And cold babies feed poorly, so they fail to gain weight, as there is an increased use of calories to preserve temperature. And it also results in reduced blood coagulability. Strategies to reduce heat loss in the newborn are written about in the WHO guideline of 1997. First of all, there should be a warm delivery room of at least 25 degrees. There should be immediate drying of the baby and skin-to-skin -skin contact should be offered. This is also known as kangaroo care, whether the naked baby is put against the mother or father's skin directly and then a cover put over the baby's back. Breastfeeding should be initiated as soon as possible and bathing and weighing should be postponed. Appropriate clothing and bedding should be available, so I mean putting a hat on the baby, wrapping the baby in a couple of blankets, and as much as possible, keep the mother and baby together. If the baby needs to be transported anywhere, such as up to the neonatal unit, this should be in a warm incubator, and warm resuscitation should be available. And there should be increased training and awareness of these issues. 
So prevention of hypothermia in the newborn, what should be done? Prior to delivery, so once delivery is anticipated, the following should be done before the baby is delivered. Ensure the delivery room is warm. Turn on the radiant heater over the resuscitator or the resuscitation surface. Have warm towels and warm clothes and hats available. Close the windows and doors to reduce drafts. Immediately after delivery, dry the baby with warm towels, discard the wet towel and replace it with a nice dry warm towel, wrap the baby, put a hat on the baby and offer the mother the opportunity for direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. Initiate breastfeeding. If not having skin-to-skin -skin contact, dress the baby in pre-warm clothes and put a hat on the baby. But what if the baby requires resuscitation? Still dry the baby first. Do not let the baby get cold during resuscitation. Do not leave the baby naked. Leave wet towels around the baby. Be so concentrated on resuscitation you forget to dry and wrap the baby. And do not bath the baby too soon after birth. The first few days of life are important, whether they be at home or on the postnatal ward, and ensure the baby is adequately dressed at all times. And the general rule is that the baby should have one more layer than what the adult requires. So if you're in a t-shirt and shorts, the baby should probably have two layers on. And if you're having, if it's a cold winter's day and you've got two layers on, then the baby should have three. Remember to put a hat on the baby. There is a lot of heat loss through the head. Do not leave the baby naked unless doing skin to skin. And dry the baby thoroughly after bathing. And avoid leaving the baby to sleep in areas where there are cold drafts. Some babies are at particular risk of hypothermia, and these include low work, birth weight babies, premature babies, so babies less than 37 weeks completed gestation, sick newborns, and babies where resuscitation was required. What is the management of hypothermia? So a mildly hypothermic baby can be warmed with skin-to-skin -skin contact. If there is moderate hypothermia, you should use a radiant heater. The baby need, may need to be put in an incubator or use a warm heated mattress. Have a warm cot. And if none of these are available, you could use a hot water bottle to put in the cot and then take the hot water bottle out and put the baby in. Never put a hot water bottle directly next to the baby, as this can lead to severe burns. Babies can, on the other hand, get too hot. So hypothermia is also important, and it's just as dangerous due to overheating. Hypothermia is different being, from being hot due to a fever, so infection should always be suspected as the first cause of a raised temperature. Hypothermia increases the rate of water loss and causes dehydration. The signs are obviously a raised temperature, there is also rapid breathing, tachycardia, the skin is hot, there's flushed red extremities, the baby is restless, agitated and crying, but can simply become lethargic. The causes of hypothermia. Firstly, exclude a fever due to infection and inflammation. The most common cause is simply too many clothes, the baby may be in direct sunlight or the incubator settings may be too hot or the baby may be too close to a source of heat. Management of hypothermia. Remove the baby from the heat source. Remove the hat, clothes or covers. Remember to replace fluids as the baby may be dehydrated. And it's essential to exclude infection as a cause of fever. So in summary, what is a normal body temperature? It's 36.5 to 37.5. How do babies lose heat? They lose heat through evaporation, conduction, convection and radiation. And why is heat loss important? Simply, it's bad. Cold babies get sick. Strategies to avoid hypothermia. Be prepared for before delivery. Have warm towels and heaters ready. At delivery, dry and wrap the baby. Put a hat on the baby. Encourage skin-to-skin -skin contact and early breastfeeding. Thank you very much.